Hello everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I make videos about full stack web development and productivity. In this video, I'll help you get started with the Jiffy API so you can incorporate GIFs into your side projects. And before we get started, I'm going to ask for one small favor from you guys and that is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing for more content just like this. I am going to assume that you have some familiarity with Vue and that you're familiar with using the Vue CLI to create and set up a Vue project. I set up my Vue.js project with the Airbnb ESLint config and I also set it up with Tailwind CSS. So that should explain to you why I have trailing commas and why I'm using these semi weird CSS classes. Well, they're actually pretty straightforward to me, but if you don't understand where they're coming from, well, it's Tailwind CSS classes. Now that's not the main point in this video so let's just dive into the part where we start working with the Jiffy API. In order to get started you're going to have to google Jiffy API and once you do you're going to to this website called developers.jiffy.com. Here you can head over to the docs section and you'll notice that there's a few different type of SDKs that you can use but the one we're concerned about is the web version because we're going to be using this inside of Vue.js. And here it'll suggest that you use yarn add and that you install the React components and the JS fetch API with Jiffy. Because we're doing this in Vue, we don't really care about this components library. All we care about is Jiffy JS fetch API and we can just do that using an npm. So I'm going to open up the terminal and run npm install Jiffy JS fetch API. Now I've already done this so running this isn't going to do anything for me but if you run it you should install it into your view project and to ensure that everything has been installed into the project correctly all you're going to have to do is import the jiffy fetch api and run npm run serve if you do this even if you're not using this it shouldn't throw any errors and if that's the case that means you've set the jiffy api up properly we still need an api key so let's see how to get an api key with jiffy in order to get a Jiffy API key, you're going to first have to create an account. And so I've created my account and I've created the API key here. Now you're probably not going to have this. So what you're going to want to do is do create app and select API because we don't need all of these features inside of the SDK. Click next step, add some information about your app and you'll get a randomly generated API key. Now you might be tempted to use this API key right here but I'm going to delete it so it won't work for you. You're going to have to create your own API key and there's just no way around doing that. Now that you have your API key, you might be tempted to read these docs, but the issue with these docs is that they're using the React components, but we're coding in Vue. So instead of reading these docs, you're going to have to click here. It'll take you to the JiffyJS repository on GitHub. And scrolling down, you'll find the Jiffy Fetch API information here. And here is a simple way to test out whether or not your API key works. Now here they're doing trending, but inside of our project, we're going to be using random. So here I'm just doing that. I'm creating a new Jiffy Fetch object. And there's a few functions on here that you can use. If you're using VS Code, you might get IntelliSense autocomplete like this because this is written in TypeScript. So if you press dot, you're going to get some options that you can choose. And we're just going to choose random, add in a tag of cats and uh, store that information that you get from the API. And of course, console log it. You also want to display the image. So this is going to contain the GIF and a ton of information inside of that GIF that we don't really need. And I did a ton of uh, digging around and I found the perfect URL for the image. Now there are multiple URLs that you can use, but I found that the best one is under GIF images original URL. So that's where we're going to create an image and we're going to do some minor styling. So let's see what our project looks like now. So if we refresh the page, you can see that we have the GIF and we have the image information being console logged here. And the last thing I want to point you guys in the direction of are these docs. Now these docs are actually pretty hard to find, but you can easily do a Google search to get to them, which is just Google like Jiffy JS Fetch API GitHub or something like that. But 
if you're just on the Jiffy website, it's not too clear where these docs are. But in any case, once you find these docs, you should be able to look through the code and do a ton of different queries. That's where I learned about the specific tags. For example, in my code, I pass in a tag with cats. And at first, I didn't really know what options could be passed into the random function. After looking through the documentation and even going through the code, I was able to find some information about what could be passed in. And I was looking at these examples and I noticed that uh, two things that could be passed in are tag and type and things like that. So if you're ever confused about where you can find information about what methods are available, I would just check out this GitHub repository, the Jiffy JS GitHub repository, and that's where the code for this API exists. So let me know what you guys think about this quick little tutorial going over the Jiffy API. I will be coming out with a more in-depth tutorial with the Jiffy API. I'll be creating a Tinder with memes. So you can be on the lookout for that next week. And yeah, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.